jangles right when we That's you, it's live. <laughs> it's live. Talk yes. to your, your people. <laughs> Where are we at? We're live on set at the new edifices of Hope City. Yes. House of Prayer. We're yeah. live right here on Southwood and Fort. And it's very loud. <laughs> yeah. Well, all eyes on me. <laughs> I want you to see this sign on the building it says House of Prayer for All Nations. For those of you who know, for the last eight years, I've been giving myself to building a house of prayer. So I took this as a sign, literally, that it was God's will for us to move into this building. So shout out to Pastor Derek and Shatisha Williams, Freedom Rain Christian Center, uh, for helping us negotiate a deal here to occupy this space. But I wanted to take you guys inside and also say thank you for your prayers, thank you for your support, and I want you to see what we're about to do. So follow me, Aaron, and we'll go inside. Also show them, so right next door is a school. I hope you can hear me. This is an elementary school right next door where hundreds of kids are at school every day. So here at the church, we'll have a chance to uh, do after-school programming, all sorts of things of that nature, and make an impact in this community. So we're gonna go inside, and I'm gonna show you around, and that way you'll know what I'm talking about when I update you. So right this way, Aaron. I'll make sure you get that too. What does that say? Jesus Justin Christ says, himself. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Ah, he's the chief cornerstone. <laughs> so here we are, we're in the entrance way. This is the lobby area. We're gonna renovate this by painting and doing some Aesthetic updates. Um, it's not too bad, but as you can see, there are some needs for uh, some modernizing and updating. But we just really want this to be a welcoming space. So again, we're going to be uh, painting, and you can get a shot of the ceiling here. We need to replace the ceiling, and we need to uh, paint. So that's the main changes or goals we have for this entryway. Um, but I want you guys to stay tuned in because I'm getting ready to walk you through the whole building. So share this with people. Let them know they should tune in too. So follow me. The first place we're going to go is down to the basement. So follow me. <clears throat> so this is a storage room, which as you can see, it's none of my stuff, but that's the current occupants, Freedom Rain Christian Center stuff. But down this hallway, show them the hallway. Whoosh. Down this hallway, um, let's see, I'll hold it. Down the hallway, there are eight rooms on this floor, which this will be a business center. Um, some of these rooms have been uh, touched up, and you can see there's some more up-to-date flooring here. Unfortunately, we probably will have to take the flooring out uh, because there is not enough of it left to cover all the rooms and we need to do a uniformed uh, flooring for this level. So what our goals are here in this uh, aspect of this building are we want to partner with nonprofits that exist already. Um, and the idea behind this bottom floor is to have it be an office space place where uh, like-minded uh, nonprofit can collaborate with us, whether that's you know, uh, help, helping people with their housing, helping people with their job applications, anything really in the social services arena that's Christian based, we would ideally like to partner and lease this part of this building out to them um, so we can have a symbiotic relationship. But up and down the hallways, if you can show them, Aaron, we've got, again, eight classrooms. Uh, within the next couple of weeks, all this stuff will be moved out. But I just want to give you guys a sneak peek of kind of what we're dealing with. And so, uh, next up, we're going to go upstairs. If you want to follow me, we're going to go upstairs. As you can see, the stairwell needs to be redone. If you can get a, a shot, maybe, of the floors. I think they got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure we need, we that's, need that's, that. That's the stairs. That that was. But, um, so now we're going up to the second floor, or really the first floor. right this way and on this floor um, similar layout um, as you can see I don't know if you can see the floor here the floor needs to be redone um, we need to paint we need to replace the ceiling tiles um, but the building structurally speaking is in good shape so we've got 
got our hands full on the lower level. If you just tuned in, I showed you guys what we want to be a business center uh, and re or, uh, office space rental. Um, this second floor will be used for after school programming for Sunday school, for our children's ministry, for our Sunday services once we kick those off in 2020. Um, but similar to the bottom floor, this whole second floor pretty much needs to be redone, uh, either carpet or laminate or hardwood. Uh, we need to repaint. Uh, we need to put on some doors. Some of these doors need to be replaced. Um, but not too much. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is just aesthetic. And so, got a couple bathrooms right here. And up this way, uh, before I take you guys up to the third floor, we're going to go to the sanctuary. So follow me. Ugh. And as you can see, there has been a toy giveaway. So again, shout out to Freedom Rain. Christian Center, loving on the community. Uh, but this is a sanctuary, and uh, I'll go over here so you guys can see a little bit more. Um, but in here is where we will have, obviously, a church plant in 2020. Um, so some point in the first part of the year, we would like to have a team in here to establish a Bible-based, uh, discipleship-based church as well as a as a house of prayer. So one of our core values at Hope City is 24-7 prayer. And so the sanctuary has pretty much been updated and renovated by the current owners of this building. And uh, there's not a ton that needs to be done in here, but we do need your help. You can keep it on me for a moment. We need your help because we need to get a sound system. Um, the previous church is gonna give us some equipment, but we still need to get uh, some instruments and some sound equipment, some chairs and different things like that. But for the most part, this uh, sanctuary is ready to go and it will be up and going within a few weeks or a few months. So please pray for us. Now I got one more thing to show you, which is the crown jewel of this whole building. In my opinion, you may be asking yourself, what is that? Well, this building, in addition to being a church, is also zoned for residential, which means we have the capacity to hold up to 10 occupants currently we may be able to increase that if we apply for an increase of zoning. But as it is, we have capacity for 10 people. And for those of you who know Columbus, Ohio, just like many inner cities across this country, there's a major homelessness issue. Uh, urban urban uh, expansion, gentrification, some call it, has created a housing crisis here in the city. And so in this city alone, with all the prosperity, there are tons of people who just roam the streets. A lot of them are teenagers. A lot of them are... Uh, drug addicted or mental health uh, patients who just get let out of treatment centers and roam the streets and that's also a feeder system uh, for human trafficking and other illicit types of behavior and crime and so a practical way that we can not just pray with our words but pray with our actions is to hold them in a Holy Spirit filled warm environment and feed them um, and so I want to show you that so Aaron follow me and I'm actually going to actually take them back around so I want to take you back to the sanctuary I want to show you the kitchen I forgot all about the kitchen so follow me um, but if you guys are tuning in I'm giving you a visual of this building because Aaron could tell you who's behind the camera this has really been a miracle uh, we didn't have a clue that this was going to unfold in the last couple of weeks I don't think it's even been a full month a miracle has happened now we still obviously need people to be faithful and to give and fill their pledges uh, but how many know if it's God's will it's God's bill so that's what I can tell people when they ask me how did this happen. I say if it's God's will, it's God's will. So thank you again for those of you who have given. But come with me, Aaron. And um, so we're going back down the stairs now. Uh, these stairs are kind of steep. Right. So let's pray I don't fall. <laughs> but down these steps. Oh, that's prophetic too. The welcome home. <laughs> welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. So right down these steps is the kitchen right now. There's a bunch of pews in there, um, but this this area, you can zoom around here for a moment. This area, get around the other side there. This is a kitchen. Um, again, it's holding pews right now, but we will have daily feeding programs. So if you have ever benefited from a feeding program, if you've ever had to pick up free groceries or been able to be fed for free, um, that's what we want to do here. So we want to partner. Stay with me. We want to partner with the Mid Ohio Food Bank. We want to partner with other uh, organizations that contribute to those issues. In Columbus, especially, there's a, some of you may be familiar with this term, food deserts. There are tons of food deserts, and that's an area 
uh, where there is shortage or access, lack of access to food. And so um, we want to feed people. You know, remember when Jesus was with the multitudes, he told his disciples to give them something to eat because he saw that they were hungry. And so, of course, he preached the gospel to them, but he also ministered to their practical needs. And so in this space here, that's pretty much what we want to do. And again, if you just tuned in or you tuned out and tuned back in, I'm just taking you around the building on the first floor. I showed you where we want to partner with nonprofits, Christian nonprofits uh, who share our vision and values for community restoration. We showed you the sanctuary. We showed you outside the building. We showed you the second floor, which is where our children's ministry and our after school program, our mentoring program will be held. And there's one last place, and that's upstairs, which is where we're going to house the homeless. And so follow me. Follow me as I follow him. You're supposed to laugh here. <laughs> You're supposed to make me feel good about myself. <laughs> Are y'all still with me? Don't they tune out. We're still here. They're still with us. Ugh. It's a lot of steps. I'm going to say I'm out of breath. So, yeah, if I start <laughs> huffing and puffing, it's because I've been eating too much. <laughs> So are we, we're almost here. Okay. Woo! We are here on the third floor. So right down this hallway. Uh, currently right now, they have uh, really set this up for children's ministry. What we're going to do, come with me. What we're going to do up here is we're going to um, take out, I don't know if you can tell, but in each one of these rooms, there's dividers. So there's a total of about eight, excuse me, I'm out of breath for a <laughs> There's a total of eight rooms um, up here as well. And so we're gonna put bunk beds and short-term housing solution for people. And behind you, uh, we're not gonna walk up there, but there's more storage. As you guys can see, this building is very big. But again, if you can just look at these floors, we need to replace floors, look at the wall. We need to replace ceiling tiles, paint, drywall, got a lot of work to do so uh, we appreciate your partnership we need your help so you can give you can pray you can volunteer your time there's lots of opportunities for you but I just wanted to show you guys first and uh, foremost from my mouth what we're up to so thank you I'm out of breath I need some water God bless <laughs>